Future Health is a private cord blood bank. Um, as I said, we started in 1999, but that was really just um, building state-of-art laboratories, making sure we got the right scientists in place, and making sure that our technologies were totally up-to-date. Uh, we then registered the company in 2002. We were the first private cord blood bank to get the MHRA regulatory authority for dealing with this. This is very, very important. Um, in 2006, this was taken over by the Human Tissue Authority, the HTA, and again, we were the first private cord blood bank to receive a full license from the HTA. In 2009, we then obtained an ISO 9001, which really sort of qualified the company to have complete traceability, both paper and sample storage. Very, very important for cord blood storage. Cord blood and tissue banking um, gives parents the opportunity to store their baby's cord blood and um, tissue cells. So um, there are very different types of stem cells in both the cord blood and tissue. Um, Hemopoietic in the cord blood and mesochymal in the core tissue. So we believe the two used in conjunction together will give a child the best chance of combating an illness and um, obviously best chances of survival. The cord blood and the core tissue is routinely discarded at birth. Midwives and health professionals throw it away and it's just kind of incinerated. Um, it has so much potential and it holds so much value that it's a shame that this is just chucked away. Um, we give parents the option of storing through public bank, so donating it, um, and also parents have the option of storing with a private bank, so having exclusivity of that sample for their child and their family. The process really is that um, when mum has had the baby and the, the cord has been clamped and cut, um, later the placenta will be delivered. Now the cord blood which has gone into the baby clearly is very useful for the development of the baby. But there will be a small volume of blood left in the cord and in the actual placenta itself. And what we do is send in a healthcare professional to extract the blood from the cord and then we bring it back to our laboratories here in Nottingham on the Science and Technology Park and then remove the stem cells and then we store these stem cells up for a period of 25 years in case they're going to be used. Future Health um, Biobank has nothing to do with the birth process. Um, it's a completely simple non-invasive procedure where the mother um, births her placenta. Placenta is handed over to a phlebotomist who does the collection and it's a very quick, easy procedure which you will not have to see or worry about. I always say to parents, it's, it's a lovely thing to offer them um, if you're a, a mum-to-be or a dad-to-be, um, to have the opportunity to store your baby's stem cells um, for future use. And it, not even just your baby, it could be another sibling or a family member, to have the opportunity to use that um, should there be an illness. The cord blood which is collected is actually a clinical waste product. Normally this is thrown away with the placenta. But it contains two different groups of very, very important stem cells. They're called hemopoietic stem cells and mesochymal stem cells. Now these hemopoietic stem cells, which are very, very rich in the cord blood, have this wonderful ability to actually regenerate the immune system. So in other words, they can make red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. Very, very important. And then the other group of stem cells, which is more commonly found in the cord tissue itself, are called mesochymal stem cells. And these are the cells which regenerate the more solid tissues, such as liver, kidney, brain cells, uh, skin cells, etc. So two very, very important groups of stem cells which normally would be thrown away as clinical waste. Stem cells are the, um, basically the building blocks of life. Stem cells are cells which are totally undifferentiated but have the ability to be able to renew themselves in a lifetime but also go down different types of what we call lineages to be converted into different other cells that they populate. For example, 
the group of mesenchymal stem cells are capable of converting to liver cells, skin cells, neurological cells, etc. The hemopoietic stem cells in the cord blood, these have the ability to convert into red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. We hope your child never becomes sick, but if they do, you have something there that could potentially help. Um, we never want to think about anyone becoming ill, but it's kind of, you know, it's better to have it there, never to use it, than to need it and not to have it there. There's currently about 85 diseases which are um, knocked out by stem cells. Um, obviously the childhood leukaemias and the immune system type diseases and things such like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia. Very well documented evidence that these are very, very helpful in these diseases. This is uh, one of our cryogenic storage uh, facility rooms. Um, these tanks here, they uh, hold about 8,000 stem cell samples each. And they actually store at minus 196 degrees. The, they're stored in liquid nitrogen vapour, not liquid nitrogen. So the samples never come in contact with liquid. It's always in liquid nitrogen vapour. This helps in relation to contamination. They're very, very um, secure in as much as they have a 24 engineer call-out facility and the tanks will actually survive without liquid nitrogen and without electricity up to 10 days and they're fed from a big 4,000 litre tank which is automatically fed by the computers which sit on top of the individual tanks. My background is midwifery but this is cutting edge science and to be part of it, to be part of something that could change and um, adapt the way science is practised and the way midwifery is practised, um, for me it's a privilege and an honour to be part of. So if I can say I've been part of something that has helped cure a child's life or a sibling's life or someone in that family's life, then um, you know, I will back it up all the way. We have our own medical courier that collects the samples either from the hospitals in the UK or from the airports um, in Nottingham. They're then delivered to our laboratories. We have a 72 hour time limit. After 72 hours we would start to lose viability so we like to, from the birth, we like to process and store within 72 hours. They come by our courier, they go straight into our checking laboratory where everything is barcoded, it's processed and then it's stored usually within the, the first day of receiving the sample. What happens is, at the age of 18, the sample then legally belongs to the child. So we would write to the parents and say, you know, we need to now contact your child and ask for permission to store for the next seven years, which you've paid for. And we would probably then say, oh, by the way, if you want to store for another 10 years, you, we, can, we can do it for you. That's, of course, if it's not been used. Because of our licence, we can only quote which is scientifically proven. At the moment, the papers coming out of the United States are quoting 24 years, complete viability after 24 years. So we cannot, in 30 years' time, we'll be quoting 30 years. We believe it's just like the IVF was with storage of ovum and sperm, you know, indefinite, but we can't prove this until the viability tests of stem cells have actually been done. Have a healthy pregnancy, enjoy your pregnancy, do all the things right, exercise well, have a good diet, think about a birth plan. Um, I encourage every woman to have a succinct birth plan from 37 weeks just outlining everything they want from their, from their process and everything, again, they don't want. So think about how you want to have your baby, think about um, the kind of drugs that you want to use, if any, think about your third stage, which is the birthing of the placenta, which is the third and final stage of pregnancy, a very important part. Um, if you're having a stem cell collection, this is something that you will need to think very carefully about in terms of managing the birth of your placenta. But um, otherwise, enjoy, embrace, <laughs> and um, yeah, good luck with it.